Section 4.1 is all about understanding what your derivative is telling you in the context of real world problems. So calculus is all about studying change and the derivative is a really good way of doing that because it tells you the rate of change but it tells you the rate of change at just a particular instant. So the rate of change for t equals 20 will be different from the rate of change for t equals 40, for example. Um, a really good way to understand your what your derivative is telling you is to take a look at the units. Um, since the derivative tells you slope, you're looking at units for rise over run. So if I were looking at this iPhone example, the units would be millions of phones per year. So if I look at the slope of that graph, it's going to tell me at any particular point how many millions of iPhones per year, how the rate of change of iPhones, the rate of iPhone sales in millions per year is. So for example, if I'm looking at that a particular example, if I'm looking at F prime at 2011, I would say the rate of iPhone sales in millions per year in 2011 is whatever I get when I do that, the rate of change. Okay. Um, if I were looking at the second graph, the rise over run units would be degrees Fahrenheit per week. And so if I looked at, let's say, if I looked at t equals 20, I would look at the slope here at 20, and I would say something like the rate of change 20 weeks after the spring equinox in degrees Fahrenheit per week is and then I would figure out what that slope is. So units are really going to help you think about what does this derivative really mean. So here's a table. It shows the amount of water in a pool over time. Our problem is estimate f prime of 15 using data from the table. So these are the two values I would use because they're close to 15. So f prime of 15 would be approximately equal to 60 minus 80 over 20 minus 10. And so it would be negative 20 over 10 or negative 2. Then explain what f prime of 15 means in the context of the problem. So at 15 minutes, the pool is losing two gallons per minute. Um, if I were grading this problem, I'd want to make sure that you understood that you need to talk about that 15. That's the instant rate of change. So I would want to make sure that you had something like that at 15 minutes. And then I would want to make sure that you understood this sign. So it's losing two gallons. And then I'd want to make sure you had the correct units, two gallons per minute. Um, so in summary, the derivative is the rate of change at a particular instant. In, const, in the context of a real world situation, the units can really help you understand it in context. All right, thank you so much.